Hello again, you magnificent people. Welcome back to HemingwayLand.com, your source for quality, affordable land. This is our preview, our weekly preview of all the properties going live on the website for tomorrow, Friday, April 16th, 2021. So announcements, 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 guys. The uh, email blast experiment last week, sending the email out shortly after the videos had premiered on the website. The listings with the videos, excuse me, had premiered on the website. Uh, worked out pretty well. Click-through rate was basically the same as it was previous weeks. So nothing got lost in anyone's inbox. Everybody found it. So we're going to continue to keep that up just so as there's not a 14-hour gap between the listings and the email blast. So as more of you who are subscribed, we'll know when these things become available and they won't all be sold by the time the email shows up, etc. So uh, 12 o'clock, midnight, Pacific time. Shortly after midnight, Thursday into Friday, that's when the email blast is going out. Look for that in your inbox in the weeks and months to come. Topic number one. Topic number two. Last week, we debuted a whole bunch of lots in Socorro County. We sold a whole bunch of lots in Socorro County. So thank you, as always, to all of our buyers from these past seven days. A list which includes, hang on, guys, we're going to start with the non-Socorro properties. In Huerfano County, Colorado, Richard picked up that $18,000 property. Thank you to him. We're currently in escrow with him at Daughter Abstract. Uh, Shaolin, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, picked up one of our lots in Estancia Ranchettes. The Estancia Ranchettes experiment, by the way, going swimmingly. Going swimmingly. Maybe we'll buy more out there. Who knows? Anyway, and uh, returning customers, Kyla and Sarah, picked up Kyler, by the way. I want to be clear on that. Kyler and Sarah picked up uh, one of our Timbron lots out there in Torrance County. And in Rio Grande Estates, in Socorro County, buyers from the past week include Jonathan, Ingrid, Michael, Jesse, Doris, Joel, Thalia, returning customers, Bianca and Lachelle, and Josh, who picked up the five-acre property out there. Thank you to all of them. Thank you to all of our buyers from this past week. Uh, it's always a nice feeling when we have this many people doing business with us in a seven-day period. Having the small dollar properties on the website certainly helps. Whatever the case, new properties going live on the website this week, guys. We are back. We are back. Ba-boom! In the state of Nevada, the Silver State, where your humble narrator lives. We are listing this week four properties out here in Nye County, out here in Pahrump, Nevada. Now, guys, let's talk about this for a second. So, we got four listings. They are all in Pahrump. They range in acreage from roughly a tenth of an acre to a third of an acre, priced between $6,500 and $8,000. As you will see from the headlines, residential lots with city utilities in the heart of Pahrump. Just to be clear, guys, we're going to be buying a lot of properties out here. That's my goal. It's my goal to expand it to Nevada, and I want to kind of purchase aggressively in this region. So we're kind of preparing this listing page and all these various listing pages for the idea of today we have four, but in a couple of weeks we'll have 20. And maybe a couple of weeks after that we'll have 50. Who knows? Really, it'll depend on how things sell. But it's an area that I like. I like it for investment purposes, and I like it for residential purposes because all these lots, as we say here, with city utilities, to be clear, it means that city utilities are available. They're in regions serviced by city utilities. It doesn't necessarily mean there's a pipe sticking out of the ground waiting to have somebody hook up their water. Uh, whatever the case, because we'll be making these efforts, we've got a master page here, guys. We've got a master page, which you can go to, and you can learn a whole bunch of stuff about Pahrump. I swear to God, we're going to have an FAQ here. Look at this, which, if history is any indication, no one will read, okay? And then we're going to have a video at the top of the page that will teach you how to go through the spreadsheet and compare and contrast information about these various properties in the spreadsheet. And again, if history is any indication, no one will watch this video. Whatever the case, the spreadsheet, let me briefly touch on this. So we're going to have a spreadsheet for all these properties. As noted, right now there's four on it in the weeks to come. That will expand greatly. But spreadsheet has a couple things different on it than previous spreadsheets. We've got GP, uh, not GPS coordinates. We've got uh, street addresses. All of these properties have actual mailing addresses, which is good. Click on these, of course. It'll bring it up on a map. We've got the plat maps. This is always a nice feature. People always like to see this kind of thing. But then we've got roads, power, telecom, water, and sewer. And these columns refer to what are the roads like at this property? What's the availability of power? What's the availability of, I call it telecom, but we're going to say underground utilities, fiber optic, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, and then, of course, water, sewer. Now, as noted, and I like to be very specific about this, they're all in an area where you basically don't have to drill a well. There are utility providers who come out and hook things up. Now, does it 
you know, is it easy to get them to hook things up? What's the cost associated with that? That I'm not entirely clear on. So there are certain properties where we have where logic would dictate, yeah, it's available. It's right there at the property line. There's a house right next to it, a really nice house. They've got water. Probably not difficult to get water at this house. Probably not difficult to get sewer services. Some of these properties, I won't know the answers to that. So we write DDR, guys, DDR, due diligence required. And you can read my extensive footnote here on that. Whatever the case, on these specific listing pages, I'm going to have a video up top. It's really just going to talk about Pahrump itself and about how people can kind of navigate these pages a little better. It's not going to be property specific. It's not even going to be subdivision specific because we will be buying in a variety of subdivisions out there. But uh, we've actually, for the first time, I'm putting video chapters at the top of the page. So if you want to hear me prattle on endlessly, you can watch the whole video. But if you want to just hear me prattle on specifically about a certain topic, we have the kind of timestamps of where these things are and where I address certain things in the video. Whatever the case, as an example, I just want to bring up one of these on a map, show you guys. So first off, this is not Pahrump. This is Vegas, okay? Metro Vegas right here, roughly 2 million people between Vegas, North Vegas, Henderson, etc. But if you go about 40 minutes west out here in this area, you have Pahrump. And as far as Desert communities in Nevada, this is one of the largest, uh, outs obviously outside of Vegas and Reno, this is one of the largest, home to about 36,000 people. As noted, I like this area for residential purposes because all of these lots that we're buying are in areas serviced by city utilities, but also because Pahrump, as far as, you know, desert communities in Nevada, this is a kind of happening town. They have a lot going on out here. They have a lot to offer. Any amenities you want, you're not going to have to do the 40-minute drive into Vegas. They're all pretty much out here, as you can see by the map. Uh, but I also like them, of course, as investment properties because... And I go on about this at length in the in the video that'll be on these pages, but simply because Vegas, like you know most places in the Sun Belt, Vegas, Phoenix, etc., rapidly expanding, the demand for housing uh, can't keep up with the you know builders can't keep up with the demand for housing out here. Prices are going up, uh, cost of living is going up out here in Vegas, and for as much distance as you see between Vegas and Pahrump, my my guess is that that will not be the case in ten years' time. And there's no shortage of people really in the last thirty or forty years who have made money buying patches of dirt outside of metro areas like Vegas, like Phoenix, like Tucson or Reno, and then sold it 10 years later to some developer who put a mall or a set of condos there. So I like them as residential properties. I like them as investment properties. Now, just to give you a sense, this is one of the lots that we're going to have on the website this week. And all the lots that we're listing are basically like this. They're in these kind of residential areas where it's pretty obvious there's utilities out there, the city utilities, there's power at the lot line, et cetera. Some of them a little less so. Some will be in areas like this where maybe they have power at the lot line and they have underground utilities, but you might have the question of like, how exactly, do, how much does it cost to get water extended out here? So on and so forth. This specific one I'm, I'm highlighting because I really like this. I'm going to show you some photos of it. Uh, down here in the gallery, of course, photos from the exact property itself, as well as some local color from Pahrump guys. Whatever the case, this specific property, it's 4402A is the reference number. Sewer lines out here, um, you know, right by the lot. Obviously, some really nice, well-developed home sites out here. Paved roads, really well-maintained roads. Uh, you've got fire hydrant right across the street on the lot, right across the street. So obviously, city water is out there. Uh, underground utilities at the lot line. No power lines at the lot, but I'm sure it's not difficult to get extended from one lot over, uh, so on and so forth. But as you go through this, of course, you can see it's a very pretty region. You can see there's a lot of nice, respectable home sites out here. And as we get into the drone shots, of course, we've got the footprint of the property, as well as just how kind of pretty Southern Nevada is in general. Uh, quick thing, guys, these are not really recreational properties we're going to be listing out here. This is not necessarily an area where you can park an RV like this guy has for indiscriminate periods of time, camp and whatnot. These are really lots uh, geared toward those people who are looking to move to Southern Nevada, maybe don't want to live in suburban Yuppie Vegas, they prefer it out here, or maybe they can only afford it out here. Maybe they're being relocated to Nevada and they don't mind the, you know, 40-minute drive from Pahrump into Vegas every day. Uh, it's not uncommon. There's a surprising amount of people who do it. So anyway, point being, guys, four listings going live out here this week. Uh, I like them. We're going to be buying more out there, and we're certainly going to be filling up this spreadsheet with a whole lot more information as time goes on. Anyway, back to New Mexico, guys. we got more lots going live in Socorro County in Rio Grande Estates this week, uh, specifically about nine properties, one acres, two acre lots, et cetera, et cetera. 
Of course, on the master page with the spreadsheet link, you can see what's new out here. Some lots I want to highlight for you guys. Down here at the bottom of the spreadsheet, hang on, let me get my notes. Down here at the bottom of the spreadsheet, you know, when you go south of the highway and the units that are south of the highway are like 14, 15, 16, you run into surprisingly a lot more uh, developed residential area and you run into more uh, utilities. So for instance, 7832C, which is a one acre lot, it is 1447328. This one's 700 feet northwest of the subject property is where the power can be found. That's this one right here. As you can see, that's the subject property. And up here is a home site with utilities. You can see the power lines right here, right here, et cetera. Uh, and of course, just south of Highway 60. Next one that I want to bring to your attention, guys, 7832A. This one's a two-acre property. This one's got power at the lot line, as you can see here, here, et cetera. Also some, I don't know, developed, well, I'll call that a developed home site. But as you can see, there's a couple of them out here in this region. But power really all throughout the area. And, of course, this also just south of Highway 60. Roads are actually pretty easy down here. Next one. Is 8105. This one's one acre. This one powers roughly 500 feet from the subject property, actually in about two directions. There's power over here. If we zoom in on this, you can see there's power right here. Uh, and then if we go in the other direction, guys, you can see there is power also up here. So likely not difficult or expensive to get extended one or two poles over to the subject property. And finally, guys, 9213, which is also in Unit 15. This one, another one-acre property. And again, 500 feet from the property uh, is where you'll find the nearest power lines. This one's actually a corner lot, which sits down here along Lamont Street. And, of course, if we zoom in on Lamont, you can see the power stops just short up here at these neighboring home sites. We actually, this one is 15539.30, and last week we sold a bunch of lots in the 15539 block. Last week we sold five lots alone in that region. So, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, those are the highlights, guys. Of course, those will be all up on the spreadsheet, all on their own individual pages where you can read our property-specific notes, etc., etc. This video went on longer than I anticipated, uh, so thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate your patience. I really like those Nye County lots. I hope you guys do, too. I hope that's something that appeals to you guys. Um, as noted, we will have more coming in the weeks and months ahead. We're going to be making an aggressive push out there and throughout Nevada in general, so stay tuned. Anyway, guys, have a good weekend. We'll see you in next week's videos.